Hey, Simon Fishburn for Drum Talk TV. We have got, I keep saying this, we've got someone really special here. But let me tell you, we do have someone really special here. We have Dom Famulura here joining us. He's taken time out from backstage, hanging with all of these all these amazing drummers. So many great guys back there. It's incredible. You just, I, I know you want to get back there, so we'll only keep you for a little bit. But thank you so much for joining us here in Long Island, Amityville. This is his birthday, John Bonham. So how did you get involved in this? You know, I am such a fan of Bonham for all these years. And Bobby Rondinelli had called me up and said, listen, Brian's putting this show together. Brian contacts me, Dom, can you do it? I said, guys, I can only do the Long Island Day because I just got back in from Mexico and I leave tomorrow for Vancouver, Canada to continue performing. I said, but guys, I want to be there, man. So to be a part of this and the amount of drummers that are here that are playing who were influenced by John and the power that John had through his playing was pretty magical yeah. that all these different drummers have stolen a piece of Bonham with them. That as I travel around the world, and I was very good friends with Jeff Procaro, and Jeff was a huge, huge fan of Bonzo, and of course, the Procaro Rosanna feel yep. came from Bonham's Fool and Rain. So I mean, it was really a part of the whole groove of it. So that that lineage of this great player has continued on, and and Bonham, who was a great fan of Buddy Rich and Joe Morello, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who I knew very well, those two guys. I mean, it's just amazing to see how this whole thing kind of gets through, and it just, it's a wonderful evening. And these guys, <laughs> the band is phenomenal. Oh yeah, the band is. The band just <laughs> Shut up, right? It's Serious. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty magical. You know, Bonham, I mean, to celebrate, he would have been 65. Yeah. And we lost a great soul, we lost a great spirit, but you know what, the legacy that he left in his playing and the depth, and myself as, a, as an educator, every day Bonham's name comes up. It's pretty powerful when kids who are maybe 15, 16 years old mm -hmm. are saying, boy, I'm so influenced by John Bonham, I want to learn more about his playing. And I get a kick out of that because I said, well, here's this, this wonderful talent that has weaved itself through generations and generations and continues, continues to influence. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. And it's like a, he's like a steamroller. It's just like a freight train out of control. <laughs> there is no end. He's just going to keep going. <laughs> Absolutely. But you know what's great about what Brian has done here? He's brought all these different drummers together. My gosh, some of these guys I've, I've known for 30, 40 years. Right. And to know that we're still doing it, and we're still out there at the cutting edge of music, mm -hmm. and everyone up there, backstage, we're all talking about how they're still learning. Yeah. We're all sharing ideas, we're all learning from each other. That to me is the ultimate of passion, where everyone is still open-minded to learn, to grow, and to be a part of this wave of drumming that is so powerful. As I traveled around the world, last year I traveled to 20 countries. Wow. I flew 128,000 miles on Delta Airlines last year. It's intense. Yeah. And with all the countries and the people and the drummers that I meet and the festivals we play, like I'm going back to Australia for Frank Corniola, Australia Ultimate Drummer Weekend. <laughs> we'll do it and we'll do all the cities. We'll do Melbourne, we'll do Sydney, we'll do Adelaide, we'll do Brisbane, we'll do Perth. We'll, all the, and all the drummers that are there, it's so powerful. And no matter where I go on this planet, Bonham's name comes up. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, speaking of 20, 20 countries that you went to last year, you're going to over 50 countries right now as people are watching this. Bring so the, it Bring it on. Bring it on. Absolutely. So that's the power of the internet to add to what you do and your contribution to drumming and drumming education and, and keeping um, you know the spirit alive of all of these people that these 15-year-olds would probably, yes, they'd probably get around to hearing and getting to know, but if it wasn't for the likes of yourself um, doing this sort of thing, it, it, you know, we may not uh, know the likes of Joe Morello or, I mean, yes, probably, I mean, what am I saying? But, you know, you keep the... the you you know it, it, we keep this alive. We keep this alive, and that's what we want to we want to do. Boy, Drum Talk TV. Uh, what I'm impressed about it is the fact that it it allows us to continue the lineage, the lineage of this great playing, and these great teachers that I had before me, the Joe Morellos, the Jim Chapins, the Al Millers. These guys who were just you know Louis Belson. These guys were great. Ed Thigpen, Papa Joe Jones, Max Roach. These guys were great teachers. Shelley Mann. Names that. You go there and do the research and find out who these guys were because they have influenced us all and they are continuing to influence us. So to me, the lineage is so important to keep this thing alive, share it, pass it on as we stand on the shoulders of these great players so we can seek and see a little higher. That's the power of what we're doing and that's the power of what you guys are doing at Drum Talk TV. Keep it going. This is great. Together we shall do it. Absolutely. <laughs> so what song did you play tonight? I played When the Levy Breaks, man, and these guys, just, they, <laughs> just, a groove, huh? they just nailed it, man. I wanted something fat groove. And the drum set here, of course, it's a, it's a phenomenal big, big drum set with a 26-inch bass drum. So just laying the groove down for a song like that, 
is just so easy. And of course, the band right in the pocket, the people, the place is jam packed. This is where you got to be tonight. <laughs> Unbelievable. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, wow, I'm just in the moment. I'm not even thinking like what's going to come next, but um, there's some fans outside. Um. Yeah, 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 see you guys being great. Thanks, guys. Great, great guys. See us on Drum Talk TV. Um, we, want, we will absolutely want to get you back for like a full interview, and it would be my pleasure or one of the team's pleasure to actually sort of do that. Maybe even Dan will fly from Vegas. He might even go, Simon, get out of the way. I want to get to Dom and like. Come on, and I'm here on Long Island. I live, uh, you know, not that far from where we are right now. Right. And I've got my own studio here, so come on by. We'll hang out the studio. We'll talk some drums, and we'll go back. And I've got some great, great photos in there with me with all these wonderful guys in the past. And we just lost a great drummer, Ed Shaughnessy. 84 years young. I interviewed him just a few months ago wow. in California at Musicians Institute. Mm -hmm. And through the entire school, we interviewed him and talking about his wonderful career. And he sounded great and sounded strong. And he gave me his book, The Lucky Drummer. Oh. which was a wonderful book about his life and about his career. And just... Just a wonderful spiritual man that just had a great depth and passion for drumming. Mm -hmm. I called him up a few weeks ago and said, boy, Ed, this is great. I've got the book. I finished the book. Thanks for giving it to me. I got it. It's great, great stuff. And don't you think just a few days later he passes away. Mm -hmm. So we don't know what tomorrow brings. So since we don't know what tomorrow brings and we only own it now, we only own the moment, this evening has been great because we played in the moment and we recognize a great talent like John. That we, just we played in the moment. Play in the moment. He always played in the moment. And to have that feeling, to have that legacy, and to have the ability of being able to have this on Drum Talk TV to carry on the legacy. So when I'm not here, kids in the future will be able to watch this. This is huge. <laughs> Keep it going and bring it on. This is great. Awesome. Great. So speaking of like the future and, and yes, yes, we don't know what the future is going to hold. And we all have goals and dreams and we all want to still strive to, to grow and to continue to grow and expand. What's on the horizon for you in the next six months to a year? What, do you, what are you working on? What, what, what do you want to achieve? What's still in the bucket list? On the, on the bucket? Great question. I, I, I am still, I'm still a student of the art form. And to me, the constant growing. I just came out this year with my 10th drum book. I've got five more drum books in the can that I'm working on. I wrote a motivational book a couple of years ago. Yes. I'm working on my second motivational book. Right. I just got back from Mexico playing a festival with Dorico Watson, who's a phenomenal, phenomenal player. And I'm off tomorrow to Vancouver, Canada to do some dates along all of Canada. Yeah. And then I'm back home for a few days. And then the end of, this, uh, end of June, I play four countries in South America. Mm -hmm. So it's still going. It's still continuing. I love the traveling. Then I go to China for a week. Then I'm off to Australia for 10, for 10 days. To me, the excitement and the momentum of being able to continue doing this, to follow our passion, to live our dream, is pretty powerful. And that's what John Bonham inspired. Play music, love what you do, keep it going, and God willing, we'll be able to do this for a long, long time. Yep. Pretty powerful. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I think that wraps it up for, uh, you couldn't have ended it better. I, I, I think, so thank you, Dom, for your thank time. You so Coming so from uh, Amityville here in Long Island, Long Island, New York. Drum Talk TV, bring it on, go to the website, check it out. Keep in touch, and I'll sometime, and I'll see you somewhere around the world. And your website is now coming up on the bottom of the screen. So if people want to get in contact with you and find out where you're doing your 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 oh, your great. concerts, um, thanks. So, but why don't you just tell them what that domfamularo dot com? Real simple, my name dot com. It's so exciting to be able to communicate with people. I tell everyone, email me. Keep in touch. Come on, let's get together. And like I said, I'll see you somewhere around the world. I'm sure. <laughs> All right. Peace out, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>